Casey, I think this is the most unusual arrangement you've ever brought to show us but could you tell us what it is? <laughs> yes. Well, it's a combination of tropicals. We have some heliconia, which is the tall ones, look a little bit like lobster claws. Uh -huh. and we have some ginger, which comes in pink and red, oh. really drop, uh, tropical and dramatic. Then we have some anthurium. And all of these flowers, are in, and orchids, too. And these are all real. All real. You know, I know. That I think the, the, the anthurium definitely feel like plastic, and they last a really long time. So sometimes you really wonder, is it? Uh, it is. Uh -huh. But they, uh, they grow in, in uh, Hawaii and all around the tropics. And this mm -hmm. is what you see in the Caribbean or in Hawaiian hotels, they do these great arrangements uh -huh. and they just make you happy. They do. And they're fun, they're uh -huh. fun to work with and they last a really long time. Um, but we're going to make one today and just like this and uh, we're going to do a little bit of trimming but the joy of tropicals is there's not a lot of cleaning. There oh, isn't a lot like of... Like roses no, and some right, of the other... Just none uh -huh. of that little nitty gritty greenery, uh, no fluff, just long stems but very strong mm -hmm. oh, so these solid look like stems. banana. Yeah, tree they pieces. do. Probably same family there. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. so one important thing we need to have is a very strong and tall container because uh -huh. you will need the support. Because if it's something they're too, big, they're uh -huh. big. And uh -huh. if you have, don't have enough floral foam or a tall enough container, and you put your stems in there, the whole thing will fall over. <laughs> yeah. It just won't work. Um, but you have to also be very careful in positioning your stems because you have gigantic stems going uh -huh. into the foam, and you want to commit once you get it in there because too many don't of, move uh, it. Uh -huh. of don't move it once you get it in, and too many big holes like this are definitely going to break down your mm -hmm. foam quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. Because for the size of these flowers, that's really not a very large piece of foam to no, work No, it with. isn't. It's a little over it's half deep. a brick and uh -huh. it's deep. Um, and the container we're using is completely watertight, not that glamorous. It's pressed paper, so it's nice, oh. uh, recyclable. And um, it works out well because the, the arrangement is so dramatic that you don't even see you the don't container. Need to worry about it. Right. And uh -huh. usually it's tucked away, you're, you're not really going to notice it. So to build an arrangement like this, we start from the back and work our way forward. And we have our um, foam placed in there mm -hmm. with lots of room on the sides to add water. We've oh, soaked mm -hmm. our floral foam, which acts which as our base. Do, you don't always you? want to mm -hmm. do. And often I won't put water in the vase after I've put the foam in because it's completely soaked. And as we put stems in there, it will displace water. And sometimes my arrangement's overflowing with water. Oh, so if you were to add it, it would even be more so. Uh -huh. But once you get all your stems in and everything's settled, then you add your water. Because uh -huh. you always want to make sure, especially with the tropics, they need, oh. they, tropicals, they definitely need all need that all water. water. So if you take something like this, you think, what on earth am I going to do with this? Well, you don't necessarily have to keep it in its original form. Oh. In fact, we can separate out some of the, the larger stems here, like shuck and corn, and it put is. that aside. <laughs> and we still don't want to go, you know, really, really tall with this one. So we're going to go definitely shorter. Now you're with leaving this. the other. We're going to leave this stalk. on because I think that'll be pretty. But oh. these are quite large. So mm -hmm. these are going to be our lower two. So mm -hmm. again, low large is what you always want to think about when you're designing. Think of a pyramid. It's tall and uh -huh. pointy at the sides and it gets bigger, you know, it's get bigger it at the oh, bottom. Okay. So we want to consider that. So we're going to use these guys um, in the front part of the arrangement. Mm -hmm. But what we are going to use first is our these ginger. Are ginger. Mm -hmm. That's right. These are ginger. Now they're not the same, they're in the same family of the root that we mm -hmm. add to spices, but, uh, but we don't eat the root of these. These are grown for the industry or just to enjoy. And mm -hmm. they have, this is the greenery they have attached and it's not lovely. In fact, what they do when they package these, they actually pull oh, it over like, like to this protect to protect it. it. So we remove those. Uh, so we're uh -huh. just going to trim those away and that's about as hard as the cleaning comes. That's and you know what? This one's kind of pretty. Yeah. We may leave that one on. Then we want to look at the two gingers we have and you want to use the smaller one mm -hmm. taller. That so one's I, I, would, I uh -huh. believe so. So we're going to go with this one uh, a little bit on the tall side and mm -hmm. uh, the rule is we can't go super, super tall because the taller you make something, the more flowers you need. Uh -huh. This is the in. only flowers we have. So we're going to have to go a bit shorter, and we don't want it just so massive. So I'm going to bring my stem down off the table and bring my vase to the side mm -hmm. and determine about where I want to start my height. And I think that looks good. So I'm going to give it a trim, and I make trim the bulk of it off and then stand so it up. So you're using your same clippers that yeah. you use for roses or anything yes. else. Yes, these are mm -hmm. wonderful. They're called bunch cutters. So they actually can cut a whole bunch, bunch. of stems together, mm -hmm. but it's always better to cut one at a time just because of when the, they're this big. When especially. they're this big, yeah. you can't really get around it. Trees. Sometimes you might have some extra little stems there that are side bits that you can just peel off. And I'm actually going to cut just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to start at the very, very back of my container because I need to get all You're those pieces forward. in there and I'm going to work forward. So I'm going to start back here and I'm going to go straight down mm -hmm. and get that piece in there. 
And okay. look at that, just stays nice and strong. Yeah, not that gonna foam go anywhere. It really does hold it. It really does. And then for this one, I'm gonna come up, and I like that little leaf on it. We're gonna uh -huh. bring that, it's gonna tuck right underneath it. So we're gonna cut a little bit more, get the girth of it off first. It's always better to cut it longer and then go back and cut it shorter. That is so true. <laughs> it's like Sometimes sewing. you just can't commit. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's hard to commit to um, to a cut when you're not, not sure how it's going to work. So you need That's to perfect. give it a and little that, bit. That one little leaf does add to it. I we like are. We're going to keep that on there. I think it's going to be really sweet. So I'm going to take a little bit more off, and I'm actually going to place this right in front of it so it tucks underneath. And we're cutting at an angle mm -hmm. because a pointy end goes in so sure. much easier than a blunt end. And this is going to pop right in front. We want to see all these flowers. I see. I thought it was side by side, but yep. it is. It's slightly it's in slightly front. It's slightly in front. Uh -huh. So we're going to keep it just like that. Then we're going to take a look at our two massive pieces here and see which one's bigger. And I think that this one is. So this one's going to actually go next. And uh, I think I'm going to keep that piece on too. And we're going to turn it this way. And I'm going to cut a, quite a bit off because I want it to come right in here. It'll be low. It'll, It'll be, be low. Middle. And here it's going to take probably two crunches to get across this giant stem <laughs> and sometimes if you cut that much oh it just you know what? may, fall, it may off. fall off so you know what we're going to go ahead and go for this one here okay. and what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to feed it in where the stem is going to meet the foam because it is so thick I'll just mm -hmm. put that right in there like that it's holding nicely mm -hmm. and you want to give this one a go you I can think go. I'll watch you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one actually is also kind of coming away, coming out of the stem, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it completely away, oh. so we don't have the extra. You we might could just, go back and add the stem. We certainly you, could. Okay. Yes, but this something. is so massive that I think it even needs to have huh. a little bit more off, and it's going to come out right in front. How long would an arrangement like this last? Two weeks. Oh, is that right? Yes, two I like weeks. The succulents it lasts longer than right. regular. So that's oh, our building. Pretty. Very, very uh -huh. sweet. Very pretty. So from here now, we have all this foam that, foam that you can still see. Uh -huh. So the benefit of tropicals is that you don't have a lot of greenery to clean off. However, you don't have any greenery to hide to your floral foam. In. Uh -huh. So what we use is we incorporate some tea leaves. I remember and you used those before. Mm -hmm, they're wonderful. And what you want to do with tea leaves is we're going to bend them back uh, as we have here. So you want to loosen the spine a little bit here and then simply bend it back where the tip is sitting right here on the stem mm -hmm. and you take some teeny rubber bands you can get at the beauty supply oh. store and you just anchor that point down let me go around twice sometimes Oops. you need three hands i know <laughs> <laughs> we can get it on there there let's see Pull this but it's got to be tight again. enough to hold that mm -hmm. yes because we want to stick that into the into the foam too and anchor oh. that so it doesn't mm -hmm. pop out there we go and we can make it like that. that. We're going to give this a quick trim at an angle because it's much mm -hmm. easier. And we're going to slide this into the side like that. <laughs> make it pretty. And then we're going to do that with another one. to give it a try. Mm -hmm. And give you a rubber band there. Actually, some oh, of these smaller ones work them. great. Loosen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to put two more on the sides here in the same manner. So just loosen that up, flip it back. Oh, these are pretty sturdy. I mm -hmm. didn't realize that. These are very, very fresh. Great, great quality. And you can buy sometimes, they'll sell at groceries, I've seen, little tropical kits, actually. Very, very sweet. Uh -huh. And you can buy a miniature version of this and do the same thing. Let's slide this one right in here. Big and bold. It's all about Big this arrangement. Bold. Great. And you can put that one right behind this one. Wonderful. Now, are you going down in this you go right or here into this the one foam? If you like. You're right okay. sideways into the foam. Sideways mm -hmm. into the foam. Okay. Wonderful. Those great. are so Oh, that has a great look. And now from here, we still have this you up can front, see the front, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to add these in, and these are our anthurium, and they come in greens and pinks and whites oh. and absolutely beautiful. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this one so it's sticking out a little bit just to add some interest out front. Mm -hmm. And that one we're going to cut a little bit shorter and you're going to tuck right in behind it. Do you want to do that one? And then our last thing we're going to add Ooh, out to the orchids. front is our orchids. And uh -huh. when you buy flowers like orchids, 
you don't necessarily have to keep them exactly how you bought them. So we're going to break this down into three part, parts of it. So we're going to take away the part that's bloomed, and then we're going to take away another part here that's not quite the middle part, which is half bloomed, and then the tips. And with these then, we're going to cluster, so I have them three pieces. Sorry, it's a little messy here. Three pieces. And then these we're actually going to place right in front. So we have our bold pieces that are nice and fresh. And oh, well, you don't put them all in at once. No, nope, place them one at a time. Cut, mm -hmm. a, a cut them all individually, and then we're going to cluster them together. And whenever you're placing stems, it's so much easier to place them in one at a time, and right in front there, because we want to oh. hide out our, our floral oh, foam there. Oh, we're still hiding the foam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're still working on that part. Beautiful. I think this one needs to go. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. Can take a look? Is that too tall? No, that's beautiful. That's a wonderful arrangement. And then we still have this one a little oh. bit. We can mm -hmm. tuck this one in too and just finish it off. And I think we'll be good to go. I'm going to put this one out this side. And I'll put it right in here. Okay. The joy of tropicals mm. has a whole lot of fuss I think this and is must. the most interesting thing, how you fold those tea leaves. It um, adds a nice texture. Instead of just using them tall. Uh -huh. I agree. And I think what's nice, too, is that you have so much going on with, with interest here that the greenery doesn't have to overwhelm mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. you, can, you can stick a palm frond back in here, too, and that'd be pretty and oh, airy and pretty. make uh -huh. it look really tropical, too. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So pretty. So it's just sort of a spectacular arrangement. It is. Thank you, Casey.